Hello, folks, and welcome to the Translated Parabolas Focus Directrix. This is where we will not be in zero, zero form. Okay, so we will not be starting at zero, zero. You need your three graphs of guided notes. You need a pencil and possibly a calculator. All right, let's get started. So what we've done in the past is the x squared equals 4py and the y squared equals 4px, where the vertex started at 0, 0. Okay, well, it's not going to start at 0, 0 anymore. It's going to look something like this. Okay, this means our parabola is being shifted or translated. We are no longer going to start at 0, 0. We are now going to start at H, comma, K. Opposite of H, opposite of K. Now be careful with this one because when it's a Y squared, we read it left to right and the K is actually in front, but that's our Y value. And the X value is the H and that's way over here on the right. So make sure that when you do this, you don't mess them up. I, I get a lot of mis, misprints on my, on my uh, vertex when it's the y squared, so be careful. Um, the x squared ones, same thing. It's opposite of h, opposite of k, all right? But you just read it in order here, all right? So we're not going to start at 0, 0. We're going to start at that new translated point. All right, let's go ahead and get started on one. Okay, now it looks different and it looks scary, but it's a lot of the same steps. So this is still going to represent our 4p value. So to find our p, we're still going to do 4p equals negative 4, divide by 4, and p equals negative 1. Okay, we're still going to do that part. That didn't change. Our opens up and down left and right aren't going to change. What you have to look for is you have to look for the squared, okay? And when you find the squared, what is the squared on? It's on the x. So when it's on the x, we know that it's either an up or a down. And we are going to know that this is down because p is negative. Okay, I'm just writing that in so that you know where I'm getting that. And <clears throat> Okay, so now we have to find our vertex. It's not going to be at 0, 0. So how do we find our vertex? It's the opposite of H and the opposite of K. K is on the Y, H is on the X. Opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. Opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So our vertex is negative 2, 1. Our focus is one unit, because remember, the p value tells us how far the vertex and the focus are away from each other. The focus is one unit away, and because this graph goes down, the focus goes down. I'm going to go ahead and write my, my v and my f's on there so that I don't get them mixed up. If I mix them up, then my graph's all wrong. So what ordered pair is that? That would be negative 2 comma 0. All right, now the directrix will be on the other side of the vertex, which will be that, and that is a y equals 2 line, horizontal y equals. Focal width, okay? Remember, that's this value right here, but the positive of it. So the focal width is 4. That means I can go 2 units on one side of the focus and 2 units on the other side of the focus and draw in my graph. Okay. And yes, it's going down just like I wanted it to. Okay. The axis of symmetry cuts the parabola in half. Okay. So that one will be an x equals negative 2 line. The domain is all reals because the graph goes up and down up or down, and in this case it's down, we will say that it's all reals. The range only covers the y values. The y values it covers are from 1 and down. So it would be less than or equal to 1. All right? And that is how I would do my translated graph. Okay, let's do another one. Number 2. P value, again, that same idea that that's what 
um, negative 4 is going to equal your 4p. Divide both sides by 4. p equals negative 1 again. This one is going to open. The squared is on the y, which means it'll open left or right. And in this case, it's going to open left because p is negative. OK. And the vertex is going to be opposite of h, opposite of k. Now, this is where you will make mistakes. Lots of people will tell me that the vertex is 1, negative 5. We always have to make sure that our x value goes first. It's actually negative 5, comma, positive 1. All right? So negative 5, 1 would be right there. There's my vertex. Okay, I'm going to write it above. Okay, ne negative 5, 1 is my vertex. Now, because this graph opens left and my P is negative, my focus is going to be on <coughs> the left side of the vertex. Okay, and now my directrix will be on the right side of the vertex, one unit. Okay, let's figure out what all those values are. The focus is negative 6, 1. The directrix is x equals negative 4. Back up here with the focal width, the focal width is 4. So I need to go 2 on both sides of my focus. Draw my parabola. Okay. My axis of symmetry is going to cut my parabola in half. It cuts it in half at x, nope, excuse me, y equals 1. I almost did that again. Um, y equals 1. Just remember, they have to be opposite because they have to be perpendicular to each other. All right, now, the domain for this one and the range are going to switch rolls because it's a y squared. So the range is y such that y equals all rails because you're going to touch every y in the world, but you're not going to touch every x. What x are you going to touch? Negative 5 and lower. So x such that x is less than or equal to negative 5. All right. That will be example number 2. Okay, let's go on to example number 3. <coughs> All right, this one's a little different. It's got partially translated. It's not all completely translated, but we still do the same thing. This 16 is what is our 4p is equal to. So divide both sides by 4, and p equals 4. This one is going to open. Let's look at the squared. It's on the y, so either left or right. In this case, it's right because the p is positive, okay? The vertex, well, when I look at the vertex, my x doesn't have any translation. And since my x doesn't have any translation, my h is 0. The y is being translated negative 2. Opposite of 2 is negative 2. So my vertex is 0, negative 2. And because this graph is opening right, my p value is 4 units to the right. My focus is 4 units to the right of the vertex because the vertex and the focus, the p value is the distance between them. So that focus point is 4, negative 2. Now the directrix, <coughs> excuse me, is four units behind the vertex. So we count four units to the other side and we draw our line. Okay. And then that will be x equals negative four. Okay. Our focal width, that is our focal width. It's 16. So we need to go 8 units on either side of the focus. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, way down here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, way up here. Draw our parabola. Okay. 
And the axis of symmetry is going to cut the graph in half. So we're going to cut through the focus and the vertex. That would be y equals 2. And the domain will be, I don't see my range there, so I'm going to get rid of that. My domain will be x such that x is greater than or equal to 0. And my range will be y such that y equals all rails. Okay, that will do it for you today. We'll see you tomorrow.